Hey everyone, uh, it is CJ. I'm doing a video post for discussion board number five. We are talking about um, personality types and um, watched the YouTube video, took the test by um, by Mayor Briggs and Jung. Um, so the questions are, what is the four letter personality type? And my personality was an ESFP, so extrovert, sensing, feeling, and perceiving. And what this description says is, uh, where's the party? ESFPs love people, excitement, telling stories, and having fun. The spontaneous, impulsive nature of this type is almost always entertaining. And ES, uh, ESFPs love to entertain on stage, at work and at home. Social gatherings are an energy boost to these people, people, people. SPs sometimes think and talk in more of a spider web approach. Several of the ES, uh, ESFPs um, friends jump from thought to thought in mid-sentence, touching here and there on, in a manner that, almost, that is almost incoherent to the listener, but will eventually cover the waterfront by skipping on impulse from one piece to, uh, of information to another. It's really quite fascinating. Uh, ES, or ESFPs are attracted to new ideas, new fashions, new gadgets, new whatever. Perhaps it's the newest of life that attracts the ESFPs to elementary education, um, especially to preschool and kindergarten. ESFPs love to talk to people about people. Some of the most colorful storytellers are ESFPs. They're down to earth, often uh, homespun wit reflects uh, mischievous uh, benevolence. Almost every ESFP loves to talk. Some can be identified by the 20 minute conversation required to ask or answer a simple factual question. So that was, that, that's my uh, results from taking the, taking the personality um, quiz or whatever it was um and really that's kind of what i learned so like i guess looking at it um you know looking at the findings i would say a lot of that's actually pretty accurate for who i am i'm told all the time that my stories or or conversations tend to jump from topic to topic pretty quickly or you know mid-sentence i'm on something different it's annoying for a lot of people, but it's just the way I think, I guess. Um, I do like to be the, you know, fun person in a group. I tend to, I mean, I, I, be, I am that person usually. Um, but it's kind of, sorry, there's flies. Um, it's kind of funny because at first, I'm sure for most of you that uh, have met me or know me, um, I tend to be more standoffish or shy, but as I get to know people, uh, I break out of that shell and then start, you know, making jokes or just, I, I like the social aspect of life. And so, um, that makes a lot of sense. The, um, career path that it, it, it kind of, it identifies as more, um, working with children and um, preschool education, things like that. I don't think that's really in my future. Uh, that's not some, I, I just couldn't do it. I couldn't work with kids in a career path. Um, but being the people's people, obviously my job or my future careers will probably require interaction with people throughout my day. So that will be good. Um, what other questions? How does this relate to what your values uh, as what you value as self care? So I think it relates pretty pretty well. Um, a lot of my self care is, or what I view as self care, is interactions with others, um, my wife, my kids, my social network. As far as friends, um, you know, I enjoy going out and. Uh, being in public places um, like for dinner or 
or lunch or whatever it is. Um, so I really enjoy getting out in that aspect. So I think um, it matches pretty well. Um, however, I do have my limits of, of human interaction. So um, that's one aspect. It says it's, I, I, you know, as far as extroverted goes, um, I can only, I have a, a threshold that I, I have to fall within while interacting with people. And then once that's met, I'm just kind of done for the day and can easily isolate um, or just come home and, and not like want to engage with anybody else for the, like, the rest of the day. So that's kind of what I have learned. Um, I mean, it's pretty accurate as far as the, the description. Um, the overall, it says my I'm pretty moderate in almost everything as far as extroversion and sensing. My feeling is moderate or uh, slight. And then my perceiving is moderate. Um, I'm, I'm just slightly over judging. So I actually fall, I'd say, more towards the middle of everything than, the, I mean, I, with just a slight tendency more towards the ESFP than any of the others. So that's really, I believe this is just a really short post. Um, not a lot of questions to answer. So, uh, oh, my uh, two self-care activities that I'll be engaging in is creating a bucket list and staying off social media. I have not created a bucket list as of yet, but I have stay, was able to stay off social media um, yesterday, um, which, I mean, was an, a good experience. I, I don't have a lot of um, social media that I engage in. It's typically Facebook. Um, so I just managed to, I mean, I stayed off of it. I took the app off my phone and, and didn't look at it for the day. Uh, I guess there was a slight pull to see kind of what's going on um, with people because that's how one of the ways that I stay in contact with with others or know know what's going on in their life. But at the same time, it helps me realize that uh, we tend to only post the good things, and so in order to really stay connected and stuff, I need to actually reach out and have like a, a phone conversation or meet for coffee or whatever that is. So I will create my bucket list probably within the next couple of days, and then I will write about it in my paper for my self-assessment. So have a good week, everyone.